is a uh, tutorial of my 15.112 term project uh, for programming. Um, it is a model of uh, the abelian sandpile, uh, which itself is a demonstration of self-organized criticality, uh, which is an idea brought up uh, in 1987 by these three physicists, uh, per Perbach, Chow Tang, and uh, Kurt Weisenfeld. Um, since then, uh, the abelian sandpile has kind of become the canonical model of this idea. Um, it's become pretty a pretty interesting mathematical uh, idea, but I thought it would kind of just be cool to uh, visualize it on um, on a desktop. Uh, so, you this in this model, you can uh, enter as many dimensions as you want, um, as many pieces of sand as you want, and as many. Uh, the height uh, that you want uh, for the pile. The height is kind of just a measure of or, or where how much sand you have everywhere on the pile to start off with. Uh, but So we're going to enter a three-dimensional pile to start off with. Um, start off with, let's say, uh, 4,000 pieces of sand. Um, and I'm going to say zero for the height for now, just for simplicity. And then it asks you if you want to animate the pile, I'm going to say yeah. Um, here, so I'm going to, you can see on the left side here, I can zoom in using W, A, S, uh, or w and S, A and D, move it back and forth. Um, zooming in, you see the pile is reducing itself right now. Um, and now it's done reducing, so you'll see it's not changing anymore. Um, the colors that you're seeing are basically uh, a representation of what the uh, color is at each point uh, or what the number of sands, pieces of sand there are at each point. You'll see up here this is kind of a demonstration of where you are in the pile. I can move upwards in the pile uh, and it'll show me uh, what, so this is displaying a two-dimensional cross-section in this upper uh, corner here is showing you where you are in the three-dimensional pile. So if I go to the center, I can also spin through the pile um, sideways. And you can see that from, again, the cross section uh, up here. It's displaying where you are. And again, I can move up and down. Uh, I can also, if I press N, enter more sand into the pile. So let's say I want to add 4,000 more pieces of sand. Um, and then it asks for coordinates that you'd like. The size of the pile right now is 29. So half of that is 14. I'm just going to put it at the center. Uh, this is the coordinates at the center of the pile, basically. And now you can see that the pile is reducing itself again. Uh, that's just a quick, uh, very, very quick overview. You can also, it saves the files so that if you uh, open up and you don't want to animate it, we'll look for a file that it's made. Uh, already and demonstrate that file. Um, but yeah, it's just a kind of quick overview. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.